Hello everyone, Brian Gosher here, and um, I want to do this little video for a very special person in my life. Um, you know, they always say when you meet somebody, um, you'll you'll just find the right person when that person comes along, and um, and you'll and then you'll fit like a glove. I've heard people say. Um, I don't always agree with that, but <clears throat> this is about uh, my wife. When uh, when we first met, um, she was, and she still is, the most beautiful woman on the face of the earth. But there was something else that was so much more deeper in Lori that uh, attracted me to her. And that was, she has the biggest heart of anybody that I know, ever. And um, that was always uh, a quality and characteristic that doesn't always exist in me. And, you know, where they say opposites attract. And I think this is where the glove thing kind of comes into play. Uh, you don't fit to, like a glove when you first meet. I think that's something that grows over time. As I look back on my marriage to Lori and my, my uh, relationship with her, um, oh, it was great. You know, we, we met, we were in love, we enjoyed, I mean, we just spent oodles and oodles of time. Kind of the same scenario that a lot of people go through. Um, but here's the key, I think, in every long-lasting relationship, and this is where I think so many people miss the boat on, is that when you go through the differences and the difficulties, that's where people run away, because that person doesn't think like I think, or they don't act like I act in this situation. Um, therefore, those differences um, are just too much for me, and I gotta go and find somebody else. And if that's the kind of mentality you have, you'll be running for the rest of your life because you will never find anybody that fits you like a glove. It just doesn't exist. So the key is when you find someone and, and you're just rocking and rolling and, and things are going great, the storms will come, I'll guarantee. And when those times do come, it's the couples and the people that work together that get through those things that learn to compromise. Because after all, this is a person you love. This is a person you want to spend the rest of your life with. If you run out the back door every time there's a little bump in the road or a little water splashes over the edge of the boat, you'll never make it. And you know what? It's through those times when you go through difficult situations, difficult seasons and circumstances is when your relationship starts to grow. That's really when the growing time happens. That's when the glove starts to fit. It's during those storms that you really start to realize who that person is that you have and who and how much they mean to you. And her strengths are my strengths now. Um, my strengths are her strengths. You start to learn to work together as a team. That's the key element that I think is missing so much in society. It's not being separate. It's not doing your own thing. It's being together. You know, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. That's what the scriptures say. There's a whole lot more meaning to that. So, I just want to say, honey, um, 16 years ago, um, I took that step. We both said I do to each other. We committed ourselves to each other. And it means more to me today than it did back then. So, <clears throat> I just want to tell you how much I love you. Excuse me. And how much you mean to me. And um, that commitment I made 16 years ago still holds true today. I would do it over in a second. So, thank you so much for being my wife, for being the most incredible person that you are, and putting up with me on a lot of occasions. So, thank you, honey. Happy anniversary. I love you so much. God bless you and our union. And, uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.